So the Amber Heard and Johnny Depp trial has really split people on many, many levels. But I generally think Team Johnny was correct. He's been vindicated. He's won. And it's a well-deserved win. But as always, we've got opportunists waiting in the wings. And it's going to be a rare case. But because, again, these are not good people. They're mostly bad people. And I want to be upfront about that. But Geeks and Gamers, which is a notorious YouTube channel that just pumps out these endless idiotic propaganda videos, basically misreporting things, lying about things, just being complete hypocrites, idiots, racist, conspiracy nutcases. But uh, reluctantly, I do think that uh, Jeremy Griggs, who's the usual moron in charge, who pumps out some of the more stupid videos, has a point because apparently Anita has decided to speak up and say that Amber Heard is the real victim in all this. Other marginalized survivors supposed to feel who the fuck is going to believe us? Again, you are viewing things in a specific gender identity politics nonsensical way. And when you view the world like that, you're always going to be a failure. When you view the world through facts and logic, that's what it comes down to. Again, I have problems with Johnny Depp on a personal level in terms of like how he's, you know, some of the things he's said and done or whatever. It doesn't change the fact that when you look at the facts and the evidence of this case, if you look at what has actually went down, he was right. She was wrong. And a jury saw it that way because the facts and the evidence was laid out that way. Well, I don't want to say it, but I think Jeremy is correct. I have not a clue about what Anita is talking about. But let me be actually upfront and open about my biases, unlike Jeremy, who really we can't even tell what the hell he's saying. I mean, he's basically just a weird persona. He just jumps on the camera and does whatever he does. But uh, I'm a little mixed here because Anita does do good work occasionally. But in terms of herself, just publicly, she's been shown over and over again to be insanely ignorant, a hater, a liar, a hypocrite, totally corrupt. She took money from Joss Whedon and took it for a long time, too. And then when it became convenient, stabbed him in the back and said, oh, no, Joss Whedon, you're so evil. And people pulled up tons of photos where, hey, I thought you and Joss were friends. I thought you were cool with him. And she's like, oh, yes, once upon a time. So she has no real credibility. But nevertheless, she does some valuable work here and there. But overall, she's not a very good critic. She's not a very good media analysis. But she is now a celebrity, and celebrities got to keep putting themselves out in the news, which ironically is the Amber Heard problem, right? She's much more of a good celebrity than good actress, so she's playing to her strength. And I will admit, she is a notorious hater of Zack Snyder. and I mean, hatred in the most raw, pure form. She just really, really hates Zack. And trying to leech off the gains of feminism to satisfy his own personal pornographic adolescent boy fantasies, which just serves as another example of the male-driven backlash against women. Who are you kidding? We're not fooled by this. But this movie couldn't have been made without a major studio backing it. Yes, I'm looking at you, Warner Brothers. I can just picture the Warner executives in their boardroom meeting being like, yeah, this is awesome. We can have it both ways. We can fulfill the desires of the 15-year-old boy market by having semi-naked chicks in action. And then we can make the girls sword-wielding and ass-kicking, and women will love it. I got news for you, Warner Brothers. We women, we're not that stupid. And I'm much more of a Zach apologist. So there are many reasons I don't like her. And there's not, not many reasons you should like her. But I think even here, even if you want to grant feminist analysis, okay, let's be open-minded, let's hear them out. She's really one of the worst. I often think to myself, who is the worst? Is Maggie Mayfish the worst? Christy Lemire the worst? Or is Anita the worst? But on this one, Anita really, really is. Top of the line, the worst one to be speaking out because she has no credibility. And she brings nothing to the table. Does she bring out any actual evidence that Johnny Depp manufactured or how the trial was unfair? Nope. It's just a lot of useless innuendo how, quote, black people or 
people of color will be silenced. I'm like, okay, how, why? And if you care about those people, well, you've got money. Give them the money so they can go to court. So what exactly is your point? I'm really trying to figure out what the hell she's babbling about. But uh, I don't know. I don't know. I will be nice and maybe say this is what she actually feels. She feels disappointed in the verdict. Maybe. But uh, the cynical side of me thinks this is big in the news. Something to report on. And she's going to stick her opinion in it even if she has nothing to say. I mean, is she a legal expert? Has she studied even this issue with a lot of depth and research? Probably not. And I got to be honest, I don't even fear for Amber Heard. I mean, people are making all these doomsday predictions that she's going to be poor, that Johnny has impoverished her. She's going to be like this homeless woman. I mean, people need to relax. I have studied this a little bit and I don't want to get into my personal life that I am also sort of involved in a kind of civil suit. It's not what people think that you're just going to get free money or there's no negotiating. They're going to negotiate how much she's going to have to pay Johnny and Listen, we know Johnny doesn't want the money. He doesn't care about the money. Probably even the money is going to primarily go to the legal fees. He just wanted symbolically as well as empirically and factually to let people know the record that no, he's not abusive. The abuse, if it did happen, and there is some abuse. He did do some abuse, right? We got to be honest, but most of the abuse was by her. He mostly tried to get away from her. He wanted that on the record and he's been vindicated. This is about his vindication. It's not about the money. So people panicking that, oh my God, now Amber Heard has no money. How will she make money? People are still going to hire Amber Heard. Is she going to be a really big superstar? Probably not. Is she going to make 10 million per film? Probably not. But she'll do okay. She just has to move into a smaller mansion. So despite Anita's insane panic, don't, don't worry about your friend Amber Heard. And if things get really bad, hey, here's a thought. Give her some money. You've got money from Joss Whedon. Did you spend it all? Give her the Joss Whedon money. I don't know. Just a thought.